Good morning, lovely Zoe Two Dots here with some more Harry Potter Wizards Unite goodness for you. And today, ooh, quick little port key. Hello, I'll grab that while we're here. Today, I'm going to get into how to uh, overpower confoundables and return foundables in Harry Potter Wizards Unite. So it's pretty much one of the most basic elements of the game. But just to get into it, uh, again, sorry, we're in like a car at the moment, but this kind of spot here, the good old McDonald's car park, uh, is a kind of hot spot for all of the confoundables and foundables in the game. So let's tap on this yellow one here. Alert, the pixie confoundables are guarding the gobstone set. So pretty much one of the aims of Harry Potter Wizards Unite is to return these foundable items. So I want to return the gob set there. That was a disgusting spell cast. Aim of the game, I want to return this set of items that is kind of being pulled out of place. <gasps> I was resisted. Pulled out of place by, you know, the confoundables here being the pixies. So using my handy dandy fingies, I'm going to trace this spell. The more accurate and the faster that you cast the spell, the better your score will be at the top there. As you can see, I, I got a good for that one. Uh, and beautiful. Success on that spell there. So the rankings for spells are fair, good, great, and I had to actually ask a friend what the final one was. I kind of guessed it would be excellent, but it's actually masterful is the fourth option. I just have never hit masterful. Apparently my big fat fingers just don't want to cooperate with that. So gobstone set there. If this was the first time that I had uh, found the gobstone set as well, it would have given me the given me the option at the bottom there to place a sticker in kind of like our little journal. So no worries there. Let's see. Let's grab another one of these yellow ones. And again, the color and the symbol on the map is going to be denoting a different uh, like subcategory of foundable. Threat level medium. That's perfectly fine. Let's pop a spell in there. That wasn't the worst one ever. Come on, give me a great. No. Wonderful. Easy done. Not a challenge at all. Bye bye, little dude. And a fragment of the beater's bat. Again, I've already completed the beater's bat. Ooh. Hello, silver locket. That's a bit of an extra. Ah, uh, place the sticker. It's probably going to be for that necklace there. I won't place this down just yet. I'm going to cut this bit because this is actually part of the storyline. I don't want to spoil any of the storyline stuff for you guys. So I'm going to tap on this to place the sticker, but I'm going to skip all of the like content, all of the, the characters talking because it will actually affect the storyline. So that is just a kind of like random occurrence that can happen in the game uh, in terms of finding things in the registry for you know the background or the actual storyline that's happening so skippy skip 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 no spoilers for you guys I want you guys to be able to play it fresh and experience the story by yourselves another see another one of the gobstone set sometimes if you keep uh, hunting in the same spot as well you will kind of get repeat items so you definitely do need to explore other areas to you know not, not just keep doubling up essentially which is evident by me continuously returning to this Macca's car park to <laughs> catch stuff and to overpower the confoundables. Returned to this. Okay, onto this little baby blue kind of icy colored one. Oh, hello. The uh, gnome confoundables are guarding the giant's helm. This one is one that actually requires quite a few pieces to complete. So I think I've only had a few of the fragments out of all for the, uh, for the giant's helm. So this is going to be kind of useful. So the confoundable resisted me. I'm going to show you guys how to use potions as well. So in the bottom right hand corner you have got access to potions. Basically to make your spells a little bit stronger, a little bit better when you are doing traces. We probably don't need one for this one as it's only a level, like a medium level one. But hey, when in Rome. So it's going to use one of the smaller ones here. Improves your spell cast in both combat and traces. So we'll use that potion there. Whoopa. A little bit better and should nudge us up to great. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. No! Okay, that's something that can happen as well. <laughs> the confoundable can depart. Rip in pieces. Bye-bye. Essentially, it can kind of flee in the way that a Pokemon can flee after a certain number of attempts or catches. The confoundable can also bounce out. Let's go find a few more to show you a few more examples of variety. But first up, I'll jump into the registry down here in the bottom middle. And, hey, because of all those yellow magical games and sports items that we caught, I've ranked up to rank 7 uh, in that kind of category. Thank you very much, Lee. So I get a stone, some papers there, so the papers will be used to uh, level up my kind of proficiency, my, my, my skill tree, uh, and the stones there are going to be used for fortress battle. So if you haven't seen the fortress battle video, I'll link it up here in the description as well. So as we can see, if we scroll through here, you can see the stickers that I have managed to place. For example, this one here. 
Um, the gobstone set, of course, is there as well. We've seen that a few times. Some of them missing, so I've only got one out of four of the Quidditch World Cup trophy. And you can scroll through all of the different categories as well. You'll, order, you'll also notice as well, if I scroll across to uh, this one here, the Dark Arts for Borgen and Burks, um, you might be thinking, okay, why do you need so many fragments for, you know, the Vanishing Cabinet uh, and for these like different items here? So you can see 2 of 10, 1 of 10, 1 of 12. I've actually prestiged this, like, this kind of segment uh, in that I managed to collect every single item that was required for this page in full. And after that, it will give you the option to prestige. So you'll kind of start again from scratch uh, and need more. So originally these were, you know, one in two, one in five. That were, you know, you needed five or five to complete. Um, but I've prestiged this top panel here. Uh, and I believe it kind of shows by that different colored border as well. You can see this one's got a darker caramel border, whereas this one just has like a sandalwood kind of, you know, lighter brown color border around, you know, Nocturne Alley, darker one around Borgen and Bergs. So that is something you can also do once you've completed uh, pages. Once you complete a page, you can prestige that page. So probably the next closest one for me would be this one here, the pumpkin patch. Once I find a few more of these bad boys, the uh, Monsters Book of Monsters, I can prestige that page. And I believe this is going to be a way to kind of keep people like well, keep, keep, keep people playing, keep uh, upgrading their skills, getting more XP and perks and things like that by prestiging pages and um, trying to get better in those sections. Pick up this bad boy get some uh, spell energy as well because we'll need some more of that. We're going to do some more of these confoundables. Let's go find a few more confoundables and there's one other one I want to get into with you guys as well which are the oddities. They're a bit different so yeah let's go find a few more confoundables and I'll talk about oddities too. Ah uh, beautiful another car park uh, but a little bit more variety here at least. Let's start with the baby blue. Ah uh, little baby hippogriff again another pretty easy one i'm going to show you guys what happens though if you do kind of like stuff up the spell like say if you start and you're like oh that was a really good attempt they give you this little red glow on the part of the spell that you kind of missed on the trace it's like hey buddy try that one again so this one again not too difficult to take down and once again another one that i already had kind of in in the little pumpkin patch so baby hippogriff what else have we got Let's go the Hogwarts nine and three quarters. It's usually, yeah, usually students. <laughs> so, hey, let's get you back out of ferret form. Come on, that was a pretty good spell trace. Pop, thank you very much. Again, another pretty easy one to deal with. The confoundable is gone and the foundable, my Slytherin student. And I mean, this is the basic gist of it for in terms of returning uh, foundables. It's pretty much cast the spell as best you can, and that's what we're looking at. So, last one. Let's see if there's anything kind of spicy in here, and then we'll go into... Oh! Cute! Oh my god, moon calf. Medium. <gasps> we'll help you, buddy. Don't worry. I think, you know what, for the heck of it, let's use one of these uh, potions to greatly improve the spell cast. and see if I can get a masterful, my first ever masterful. That'd be great. Oh, look at that disgraceful trace. <laughs> Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Come on. That's not going to help it, is it? Oh, successful. All good. Hey, little buddy. Happy to help. Pretty sure I have already found one of these guys, though. Oh, no. Fragment number three of four. Okay, so that one's almost completed. Ah, uh, another... Another spoiler. A note from Grimm. Okay, I'm going to place this one down. Don't look. <laughs> I'm joking, it's safe. I'm not going to put in the, any of the spoiler stuff as part of the game. But, mm, nothing else popping up here. Let me take you guys into the oddities. So, if we go into the registry here, we go across to the last uh, section there, the purple one, the oddities. So, these bad boys, they kind of don't appear in... They're not dealt with in the regular way how you deal with foundables and confoundables. So these guys will pop up on the map just like the other little icons floating on the map there uh, as the purple icon. They look a little bit spooky on the map too, but like really nice rich purple color. And this is what it's going to look like when you encounter the oddities. So instead of like casting a spell like we do there with the tracers to, you know, try and overpower the confoundable, it'll be more like a battle like what you experience in fortresses. So having to hold down on the screen, line up the circle, fill up the spell meter and cast your spell again then defending yourself when they decide to attack uh, the oddities are kind of like a uh, real world or wild battles you don't need to go to a fortress for them 
um, from what I've experienced, they certainly pop up way less frequently than the other kind of like foundable items on, on the map. But they're like a fun, definitely a fun little surprise the first time you do see them, especially if you're not really paying attention because there's a whole bunch of these colors up the top here for different, you know, um, different categories and things. And sometimes at night, you know, it might look like a blue one or something like, oh, it's this little purple one here. I forgot what these are. And then all of a sudden you're in battle. You're like, oh goodness, I need to, you know, pay attention. So the first one I've registered here is the Pixie. They are cheeky, cheeky, cheeky little devils. But I'm really curious to encounter more of these uh, because as they are just such a different kind of mechanic outside of the fortress battles. So yeah, that is pretty much the nitty gritty, the let's get started with it on Foundables and Confoundables in Harry Potter Wizards Unite. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like. If you are new, be sure to hit subscribe as well. I do appreciate it. And if there are any videos or topics you'd like me to cover on Harry Potter Wizards Unite on the how-tos while, you know, Australia and New Zealand have got the beta, let me know in the comments down below and I'll try my best to cover those topics for you. At the moment, we've already covered potions, fortress battles, uh, and port keys, so be sure to check those ones out up here somewhere too or in the description as well. As well. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful morning, noon, night, whatever time it is for you, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.